y'all, what's going on, what's going on? It's your girl, Tracy Shay, coming to you from Black Bird Black. And today, I want to talk to you about the blessings that's on the way, that's about to pour into your lives, okay? Um, this is generational wealth and abundance, all right? So, this is a confirmation word from majority um, people. Thank you, God. Thank you, so Thank you, universe. Using me as a vessel. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Take control of me and all of you. Give me the right words to say to your people. Okay. Um, I call you man, ancestor, spirit, team of the divine light, light, healing energy. Okay. But yeah, so you're going through a renewal and a rebirth at this time. Okay. You can be seeing animal totems. I definitely been seeing different type of birds. Um, chicks, um, swans, rabbits, turtles, snakes, and especially white butterflies, okay? So, I went ahead and looked up uh, what the meaning of what a white butterfly meant, and um, it represents purity, spiritual growth, transformation, spiritual communication, good luck, abundance, and peace, okay? And they appear when you are experiencing a deep energetic shift, allowing you to become more aware of yourself and your surroundings spiritually. So you're definitely going to uh, upgrade right now, okay? You're going to be new from the inside out, okay? You are being um, promoted in the spirit, okay? Um, this shift is your experience. It's, it's, and experience for the chosen ones okay so y'all who are receiving this word y'all who are resonating with this word because this word is not going to be for everybody but the people who are resonating with this word this is going to be a confirmation word okay god is upgrading you enhancing your ability to see in the spirit your third eye is being activated okay you are ascending so you might be hearing ringing in your ears you might be getting tingling sensations you might be feeling like a vibrating sensation you might be feeling like a pinching sensation so okay you might be breaking out um you may be seeing om omens um boards different synchronicities within the morologies okay lyrics i definitely haven't seen a blue and purple radiance up here blue relates to archangel michael which is the angel of protection okay bringing forth power truth faith and courage all right strength and it also corresponds with um your throat chakra speaking the truth and using your voice in whatever way god is leading and directing you to speaking life into yourself as well as others and using your words to build and not destroy people being a witness and an ambassador of christ having honest communication being a positive person a person of integrity listening to understanding not just to spy okay having empathy being sensitive purple is the color of our angel is a kill which means righteousness of god he is an angel of forgiveness and mercy okay that direct directs us to that freedom okay because once you forgive once you let go um you allow yourself to have room to receive what god is ushering in for you okay so it's also the color of royalty and it corresponds with the crown chakra okay which is all about spiritual connection and transformation okay it gives you the angelic energy and awareness of your own divinity we are all powerful we are all created unique we are all divine beings okay we are all spiritual beings having a human experience but however god is about to bless you i promise is about to show up everything was being orchestrated within divine timing understand no one can take your talents your promise your gifts your abilities it may have been at a halt however it does not mean that it was not going to come to pass that promise was meant for you and you were meant for it and that's just what it is period god's words is not going to go in vain it's not going to be in void okay god is about to send forth that overflow of abundance opportunities increase anointing breakthrough and victory period because of your faithfulness, because of your obedience, because you stay cautious in what you were told to do. Because though it didn't look like it was going to pass, though people doubted you, though people talked about you, though there were a lot of blockages and negative energy in the central way, though you dealt with feminines, feminines, snakes, betrayers, haters, evil spirits, spirits, word curses, 
know you couldn't see through the storm though you feel discombobulated okay you feel confused you didn't know which direction to really walk in Though it was dark, you kept the faith. You kept the faith. And God is rewarding you at this time. Job well done. You're about to receive your heart's desire. John 1, starting at verse 13, says, I write to you because you have overcome the evil one. I write to you, my dear children, because you have known the Father. I write to you because you have known him who is from the beginning. I write to you because you are strong. And the word of God lives in you. And you have overcome the evil one. You have crossed over. You have passed every test God that allows to come your way. Okay? You can, You could have reverted back to the old you. You could have snapped on them. You could have real quick, real quick, let some things come out your mouth that wasn't, that was wouldn't, wouldn't you represent the person that you are and the person that you're becoming, okay? But you didn't. And it's because you realize that hurt people hurt people, okay? It's because you have walked through the valley of the shadow of death. You have been through the dark days, okay? You remember that you don't have a perfect past either. You're nobody to judge, okay? So you're ready to receive these blessings. You're ready to receive the harvest. You have been pruned and prepared for this moment. Remove toxic, unhealthy people, mindsets, job patterns, behaviors, and now you have the sheer glow to you. Now you are receiving your son. Your wish is being fulfilled, period. Holiness is coming. Self in many face in manifestation of God through human humanity and divine power. Increasing wisdom, bravery, spirituality. You are working with the ancient ones, the ascended masters, ancestors, and receiving confirmation signs. Okay. You're about to receive your evidence. Your heaven on earth, your promise manifests on this 3D physical realm. Okay. Understand nothing has gone wrong and everything has and it's happening due to God's perfect plan. Angel number two, three, two, look up the angel number. But it says it represents um, you needing to stay focused on your goals and aspirations, okay? Stay centered in your knowingness, your faith, your trust, and your belief for the promise. You being standing firm, believing and trusting in God for this long, don't, don't let up. Don't let up, it's right around the corner, okay? God is bringing kingdom marriages into union, divine counterparts, spiritual connections, twin flame connections, soulmates, the one that's heaven sent, that perfect pairing, okay? Prodigals are returning home. There's going to be a fresh start and a new beginning for those who will be reconnecting and for those who are meeting someone new. This will be everything you could ever imagine and then some, okay? That is still about to exceed your expectations. God is about to give you more than what you were asking for. This person will bring out the best in you. And y'all will add value to each other. Y'all will be best friends, partners, and lovers. Enjoy your singleness while you have it because soon and very soon, I hear a lot of wedding bells, seeing a lot of things about Kerber, about babies, about children, traveling, building empires, okay? And a lot of movement. I see financial breakthroughs, hitting the lottery, receiving checks in the mail, unexpected money showing up in your bank account, silent angel investors, okay? Donations, I hear successful businesses, promotion, new homes, new cars, land, milk and honey, baby. Angel number 858 is a symbol of personal power and decisions. And it may be that your guardian angels are telling you that big changes are coming. Okay, permanent changes. Now looking back, we're talking generational wealth and abundance. Okay, we're talking overflow, overflow, overflow. We're talking nothing but the best. Okay, okay, we're talking bliss. All right, we're talking joy, increase. So, I'm gonna get a quick message from your higher self and what they want you to be aware of, pay attention to at this time. Let me um, clear the energy a little bit. What do you have, Holy Spirit? What do you have, Holy Spirit? For the collective in regards to this generation of wealth and abundance, these breakthroughs, these increases, these dreams coming to pass. What do you have, Holy Spirit? What do you have, Holy Spirit? What do you have, Holy Spirit? Everything you touch is going to succeed. Everything you touch is going to be successful. You, know, you just got the lightest glow. You got that mojo, okay? 
said that you ain't got nothing to worry about, baby. She says, she's calling your name. Where you at? Open the door. Yeah, and it's because you surrender. You surrender control. You surrender if you need to know everything. You surrender. Things having to go your way and just allow for God to use you. And have things go his way. Yes, yes. Shifter. Yeah, you're embracing your spiritual gifts and your spiritual talents at this time. So, <clears throat> as I said, you're embracing that. Here's the awakening. You're going through this awakening, okay? You're going through this awakening. Take time to go within so you can um, operate from your authentic truth. So you can have that deeper connection with yourself and your higher powers. So you can receive this insight about your truth, about your soul, about your journey, about your destiny, about where you're going, about your soul song, who it is that you really are remembering past lives and things that you're meant to do during this lifetime, focusing on your priorities and the things that serve you, using your divine feminine energy, um, that current nurturing, um, intuitive energy, um, loving energy operating from that unconditional loving space okay speaking your truth changing transitioning uh, through trauma traumatic experience past lives false beliefs uh, evolving and expanding at this time chasing your perceptive Becoming a dream weaver, laying those foundations, the solid foundations, and manifesting what it is that you really want to receive throughout this life. Um, having access to the Akashic Records, um, knowing that you are a star seer, indigo child, um, an analytic um, being, Celtic being, okay? Getting clarity. Getting clarity. Trusting your intuition in your in the wisdom inside of you strength courage and wisdom inside of you you'll find everything you need when you go inside of you release fear when you're going through the transition it's going to be high in intuition you are protected okay as you evolve in your spiritual gifts and your spirituality okay as you involve in um knowing what it is that you're supposed to do in this lifetime and this existence with your assignment okay so Yes, y'all, good things are coming, good things are coming, it's going to be an increase, it's going to feel like magic, okay, it's going to be unexpected, it's going to show up, you're birthing something new, okay, things are going to change for the better, things are changing for your good, your promise is coming forth, okay, you're going to receive it soon and very soon, I love you all, have a great day, you can come for a one-on-one -on -one session, Tibet and sing and roll, um, some bath session, chocolate aligning session, Okay, like coaching session. I love you. Have a great day, family. Peace, love, namaste. Make sure you give me a like, subscribe, and a share.